We finally have Raph. I'll give you failings cost three now, and here's Oh damn it! Every time! Every time I get Raph! Every time I play a Raph, it just immediately kills. It makes me cry. Let's get into another draft. I don't quite have the gold for it, but let's go with gems. Oh, that last one was really good. Woohoo! Yep! I was I was really proud of that last one, especially because so I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream, but I usually do these with the whole untapped overlay on. It's got all the LSV gratings on them, whatever. Um, I didn't do that with the last one because I had started to feel like those gratings were actually hurting me more than they were helping because I was building decks with good cards as opposed to building decks with cohesive cards. So I was going to try to do that again here. Mm. Yeah, grades are weird because they're all graded in a vacuum and you have more and more cards available. You look at 17lands.com. I have heard of it. I have not looked at it yet, but I definitely need to check that out. Value is very contextual. Exactly. Speaking of contextual value, oh God, we got a haughty gin right off the top with a Balmor here and an essence. Oh my God. I want everything here or the chaplain. Yes. That's true, or the chaplain, but I feel like, can we take the whole pack? I just want it, I want everything. Look, Essence Scanner, Balmore, Tolarian Geyser, Gin, the fountain's all right with the rest of this. I'm taking the Haughty Gin, one, because it's very powerful, two, because I've actually used one for my collection. Chaplain has a better win rate. I'm sure you're right. Um, ah, because you can tutor it. Oh shit, you're right, ooh. You know what? That's... But here's the thing, is like, you want only the defender cards for that. This can, The Haughty Jin can work if you just have a bunch of spells. Like, oh god, it's tough. I... You know what, yeah, Wing Mantle Chaplain, because it also gets you something immediate... Ah, get the fuck! Whatever, I'm happy with that. Wing Mantle Chaplain. There's a Shield Wall Sentinel. This is a Tolarian Geyser, though, because I feel like, especially since we took the Chaplain... Have a build around? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I feel like, especially since we took the chaplain, this thing is probably going to wheel. I'm going to take the geyser. Stall for time's not bad to also have. Everything else here, I'm not super interested in as a second pick. The, ge the geyser, though, that's that's where the money is. Shalai's Acolyte's good. Oh, a second geyser? Essence Scatter? Raph? Holy shit. I mean, Raph is really great. Especially with Wing Mantle Chaplain because of that buff. Raph can help also help us draw. I love Raph. It's weird though because every time I've played Raph, he's always just gotten immediately removed. I do ah, so much good blue going around. Clockwork Drawbridge. Timeless Lotus is hilarious. I almost want it, but I'm sure that's not the pick. Um, also, the dual lands here could be good. Urtai's Scorn would be useful, especially with Wrath. Hmm. I don't know if we picked the Drawbridge this early, though. But what else would we pick? A Dual Land, maybe? Timeless Lotus, maybe? Drawbridge makes more sense, though it might wheel. Librarian. The Scry is really good, too. Yeah. I feel like most of this I'm happy with taking on the wheel. But I don't think this thing will quite wheel because it is pick four. And that would be relying on the last card. Beachfront, Drake, Jodas Codex. I think I might take Jodas Codex. Rona is also okay, but it seems like we're pretty white as opposed to black on the spectrum here. Barricade could have also been a good choice. Codex or land. My thought here between the two is we're already going to be in white and blue, so we're already going to have planes and islands. I think the codex is probably just it. That's an essence scatter. I'm t oh, but the shield wall sentinel. Mm, sentinel, 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 sentinel. We've got the wing mantle chaplain and the drawbridge. We're taking this. This late, yeah. And the other one might wheel too, which would be funny. That's a second essence scatter though. I think we're. I think blue is going to be gone by the time we get to the next pack because we've passed up so much good blue stuff otherwise, including 
the haughty Jin. So I think we've got to settle ourselves into walls here. It's made tough decisions in pack one in a while. It's rough. Look at how many sentinels there are. Okay, now I'm very happy having taken the chaplain. Give me that sentinel. Contaminated aquifer. Um, the other option is espionage. Or negate, I guess. But I think just the aquifer. Because there's, there's some good black walls. So I think having that available. Espionage is not bad. Oh! Oh, this is what came back to us? This was our first pack. It's like the card draw. I do really like it too. But I pr I've i personally been prioritizing the dual lands over just straight card draw. But that's just a personal preference. Uh, essence scatter here. 100%. Look what came back. Look what came back. Uh, stall for time. Get in here. Urtai Scorn. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, what the shit? I guess he wrote... You know what? Yeah, screw it. We've got a wing mantle chaplain. The biggest danger now is overloading on the four spot. Yeah. Yeah, if we get too many of those early on, it's going to be rough. We can only stall so many times. I would love to get a Tura Kenarude. The big 5-mana 3-3 three, three flyer gets you creatures on spellcast. I would love to have that in this deck. Smash the dust. Sure. Ooh. Okay. This is funny. Uh, Karn Silex? Eh? I don't think I want that because our Wing Mantle Chaplain birds are really easy to get rid of it with, with it. Rotus Vortex is nice. That's another geyser though. I think I take the Rotus Vortex and we just try and get some more black as our tertiary color. Shieldwell Sentinel looks like it's going to wheel again because the past ones have of course wheeled. Delarian Geyser we're just saying goodbye to, unfortunately. Uh, artillery Blast. Eh, it could be useful. It's the Rose Vortex. I think we can get some more black mana coming along. And if we get some more... I'm not even sure if you want another sentinel. I already have three. But it'd be so funny. Destroy evil. Micromancer to get the Rona's Vortex. Yeah, in this pack, it's either micro, destroy evil, or impulse. I'm leaning towards micro. Well, then again, there's that four slot again. And we've got the impulse for wrath or destroy evil just for hard removal. Ah, screw it. We got stuff that just draws a card, specific, a specific card. If I can get one or two more, one more, one mana instant or sorceries, I'll be really happy. What is happening? Speaking of... <laughs> Runic Shot? Yeah. You're very welcome in this deck. Hopefully the Academy Wall Wheels. I would love to see that. I would desperately love to see that. My biggest question there then is we might be at risk of decking ourselves. We have a lot of card draw in this deck. Even now. God, the geysers are so good. I have to stall for time. Uh, Votacy Scavenger would be a decent creature, but I think it's just a stall for time. We're passing up a lot of green. The Braids Viper Return could be interesting, but I don't know if I want to lean that hard into black this early. It's going to get a stall for time. I know we can cast it. I know it's going to be useful. I'm going to grab the Griffin Protector, because now I think our 4-drop slot is pretty heavy. Although a 4th Shield Wall Sentinel is hilarious. Griffin has an optional bomb. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a flyer at the end of the day, honestly. Tangled Islet. I see that Benalish Faith Bonder, though. I also see that Territorial Morrow, which I'm surprised has gone this far. I don't think anybody's pulling green. And green is completely open. 
Stimulus Faith Bonder. Yeah. I mean, most of our stuff is either low power or defenders. Like, I don't think Faith Bonder is going to be that great for us. Tangled Islet. Oh. I mean, if I'm going with the uh, dual land strats, like... For Jota's Codex. I don't have any other domain, do I? No, it's just the Jota's Codex. Impulse. Actually, yeah. Actually... Yeah. Helps you dig. Mm hmm Thermal Bog. Pixie Illusionist. Soaring Drake. Great with Scatter. Ooh. Essence can Oh, yeah. I think Soaring Drake. Honestly, I'm afraid of having not enough ways to actually kill people. Over the Geothermal Bog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's either that or the Peaks. Honestly, let's get the Sacred Peaks. I'm happy with that. Magna Goth. Or not. Sunlit Marsh. Sure. We're just accidentally getting our full domain here. And we can use all of them. Sunlit Marsh has white. Aquifer has blue. Peaks has white. Islet has blue. More than enough Sentinels. Yeah. As, as hilarious as four would be. We got enough. Of course, our only payoff for walls is this one wing mantle chaplain, which I think is a little sketchy. But we'll make it work. The marsh would be great if you get an Elos. Oh, I would love an Elos core. Even an Aaron would be fine. Like not not great, but fine. Nine and nine. Oh, we need some more creatures. Yeah, green and red or not. Coral Colony is also a great alt win con. Absolutely. What in the fuck is happening here? I highlight that, but I pr I, I'm, I want the Essence Scatter, I think, here, actually. Or maybe the Argivian Phalanx. But what? Do I have anything that Duplomancy would want to work with? I don't think I do. No, I got nothing. So the choice is Essence Scatter. Zaro Jana wouldn't be that great because we got a lot of high toughness things. Archivian Phalanx is potentially good. Honestly, I just like the second Essence Scatter. Extra control. Yeah, just grab that. Well, oh, but Turrican Rude. Oh, oh my God. It's tu it's Turrican Rude. It's got to be Turrican Rude. I was literally talking about it earlier. As much as I would love to have an anointed peacekeeper in my actual collection on Arena, it's gotta be Tura. Talus is also really good for us, but. The second drawbridge. Which I think at this point we kinda need to get more defenders anyway. I'm thinking in my head now strategically. I don't think we're ever going to come across another defender payoff outside of this one chaplain. So I'm thinking in what I'm actually playing, do I want to shield while sentinel immediately get the chaplain or go through all the sentinels and then get the chaplain? Is it on, is it on cast? It's on enter. Okay. There's an argument for the aquifer or the, the impulse. I'm going to give you in phalanx. I'm just going to take the other drawbridge again. Okay. What, what did, nobody ahead of me is playing white, are they? We got a couple of black manas and a, and a red mana. I think this Archangel of Wrath is beautiful. This is, yeah, exactly, alt Uh Nobody's in red. Absolutely nobody's in red. Ooh. I think maybe the Molten Tributary. Red Splash is useful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have a stall, a couple of stall for times already. I have enough flyers. I don't think I need the Mesa Cavalier. We're not necessarily going wide. Plenty, plenty of playables, exactly. I don't think I need the reinforcements. I don't need the Faith Bonder. The rest of the stuff I probably won't even play. I love Coalition War Brute, but I don't think it's for us. Let's get the Tributary. Thank you for the second geyser. Um, Shore Up is arguable. Jodas Codex, we're not taking it. 
sure. Oh, yeah. Because we really want Raph and Tura. Multiple geysers. Oh, sh oh yeah, because Shorpion's got the Micromancer. Yeah, yeah. Shorpion and Tura with Micromancer. You're, you're exactly correct. I mean, I, I'm not going to pass up the Phyrexian Missionary. Especially when we've already got two double lands that make the, the, the black. Like... Yeah, that's that's it, and then we can get back our thing from the from the bin. Back up in case Chaplin dies. Exactly. We already have an Urtice Scorn. I'm yeah, just for the hell of it, I'm gonna grab a repossession. Just for the hell of it. I think I'll Phalanx here. Um We don't want Zara John in. We've got enough flyers. That's not our strat. I don't. We're not worried about that. Inscribed tablet is the other argument, but I think we just want creatures. Objection can also be tutored by micro. That's that's true. That's true. Ace of Cavalier. We already have a heroic charge. I'll take the Ace of Cavalier. I guess we're at we're low on creatures, so yeah, that could be good. Eh, joint forces. Why not? I guess Kavu. Why not? Uh, broken wings, because why not? Uh, again, why not? Okay, okay. So we are white-blue, open to everything else. Wow. How many creatures do we have in our main board? 14. I think that's okay for our strategy. Uh, I almost want to dump the Griffin Protector. I think our Gibeon Phalanx stays. Vortex, those are going to stay. I am really tempted to just slide in this prepossession, but then again, like, what's what else do we have for... Oh, a missionary? Okay, yeah. Maybe I'll slot in a single swamp if I do that. Or try Scorn... I think we can drop the Scorn, actually, because we got two Essence Scatters, and really, I only want to counter creatures, for the most part. I'll slot the Repossession in. I like the Phalanx, I like Tura Kenrude, I like Jota's Codex. We're going to keep the Shield Walls. I kind of don't care about the Griffin Protector. Not bad. I think we can drop that. They're cutting the Griffin to her Phalanx. We gotta drop one more card now. Also, I'm going to dump a Plains for a Swamp. Um, this one's pretty. thinking two of three and or one stall for time yeah i think a single stall for time should go 13 that's low on creatures but we're really defensive and we're loaded up in the four drop slot and so many things can tutor for other things drawbridge is gonna stall missionary's nice for getting stuff back why did i what no don't get out of here Oh, I see what it did. I, I see what it did. Well, yeah, so... So we've got now three ways to get black. One, two... Eight ways for planes. One, two, three... Eight ways for island. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. I know what I'm calling this. Larian Tutors. Okay. That's the deck. I'm gonna put Raph on the cover. Eh, why not? Okay. Um. Screw it. Let's just send it in. See how it goes? Looks good. Looks good to me. I'm very happy with only having one stall for time. Oh, part of me... So, there was one game I played against someone who literally had, like, four or five Talarian Geysers. And that was basically their game plan. Part of me wants to try and do that at some point. Eventually. 
And then the, literally the game after, I played against someone who had like four or five aggressive sabotages, and that was their game plan, which was also really funny. Oh, we're going against bronze? Oh, shit. Oh, I feel bad. I don't feel that bad. I'm gonna maul this. I need lands to start, and having our card draw at five, only playable at three. I'm gonna maul that. Oh, I hate this. You know what? I'm gonna go one more. This is fine. This is fine. This is acceptable. We're gonna toss that thing because we'll never cast it. And... Probably toss the stall for time. As well. Because I would... as a chance. Because we know we can cast the missionary. Or, I mean, the shield wall. Toss the land. I could, but I really don't want to. Maybe we toss the missionary. Nah, stall for time. Okay. Yeah, that was that was a rough couple of hands, but it happens. In any case, you draw planes. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Which we've got eight sources of white in here. Oh, that's that's dangerous. That's really that's really scary, actually. And that's already... Next turn, it's gonna get buffed pretty hard. Stronghold Arena, you say? Well, that's that's a really, really dangerous turn three play for them. Or for us. Oh, shit. Evolve Sleeper. God damn it. Okay. Um... I think the only other uh, walls that we can get with this thing that we can actually cast are the other Shield Wall Sentinels. Planes. Come on, planes. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Do we just get the wing mantle? Or. I'm gonna get the shield the other shield wall sentinel, because we got another one here, so that I know that even if this does it somehow get cantered. Get chapel now. Mm, I'm a greedy son of a bitch. Plus, if we draw a land, we can runic shot whatever they attack with. I'll probably just runic shot the root walla, in all honesty. Because they're going to pump that, and it'll become a 6-6, six six, so that'll eat it, immediately kill the sentinel. I'm just going to get the sleeper. We're gonna runic shot the root walla. And I'm gonna pray. Pray. Oh, actually, shit. I could have directed the missionary. Whatever. Sleeper can't pump without double block. Exactly. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Maybe a little deeper, and I'll be able to scry. You know what? I'll take that island, actually. Yeah. Helps hold up shore up. That's my thought process. I think I'll keep both of these, because even after that, impulse will help us dig a little bit. Uh, yeah. Pass. So now they can get that to a 3 3. Oh, shit. The Mata is not what I wanted to see. Well. We can kill the Evolved Sleeper here. I'm fine with that. I'm very fine with that. We just two for one them. What is up? Okay. Okay. I'm hopeful. I'm very, very hopeful now. And now we're absolutely just getting the Wing Mantle Chaplain right now. Oh, if I I need another white and Archangel of Faith is gonna help us. 
We haven't been to nothing. And now that Namada's down, we're not going to be able to get anything out because it's all going to die. Shit. I mean, I've got lifelink here. If you can get a red splash, you can kill Namada with wrath. Yeah. I'm going to take this ring. They just keep getting lands off the top. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're like dead dead. Do this. God. Just two rough hands to start with was terrible for us. In any case... I need a red land and an additional white land in order to be able to double kick Archangel. Or just a white land just to kick it once. I'm going to chump block here. I could kill it if I wanted to, but I would lose like a wall and two birds. Yeah. Frostbite Strider, that's, that's fair. Okay. So here... We can Sentinel. That gets us another bird. And this can get us... I mean, we're gonna do this. Get a Clockwork Drawbridge. And now our options are... Play the Missionary or hold up Essence Scatter. But like... Hold up... Yeah, hold up... Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. So much reach. We've got, what, five power to block with? There's Enrager. Do I allow that? I think that's fine. I think just a 2 2 that draws and deals damage. I think it's fine. We got enough three toughness things. You could also kill Namada with Destroy Evil. Shit, did I take that Destroy Evil? I forget if I even took that. Okay, that's getting countered. I don't know what they're removing, but I do not want them to remove it. Okay. Like that, like that. Actually, you know what? No. Screw it. I'm just going to get rid of the terror. And... Oh, shit. But if I do that, then that thing dies. Never mind. Let's... Let's do like that. If they've got a pump, they've got a pump. Oh shit, I just died. Damn it. Fuck. I was dead anyway. I, w I was thinking to myself, okay, I'll pull another thing back so I can chump the other thing, and I just didn't do that. Okay. I was dead anyway. Did I take the destroy evil, though? I for- <sighs> Not bad for a double molt. I mean, I held up as much as I could. No, I don't have the destroy evil. Damn. All right. That's fine. Yeah, let's try again. Let's try again. There we go. How many white sources? Eight. We got eight. Which, theoretically, hand of seven out of 40. I mean, we should have one or two in the top 10. We should. Took a while to get one. Especially with as much draw as we have, we should be... I'm taking it. I'm taking it. We got an impulse on turn two. I'm happy with it. Dig a little bit. God. Because that means we got less shield wall sentinels in the deck. Let's grab a tablet. Excellent turn one. Pulse. Ooh, we're digging. Oh, we're digging. 
Oh, red, blue. Oh, and the infantry. Okay. I mean... I'm gonna take the land. Because at least it's a land. And we have a guaranteed land drop on turn three. Okay. Tangled Islet, and then we're gonna Shield Wall Sentinel for another Shield Wall Sentinel. Maybe I'll put in another planes. Planes don't like us. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts. We've got so many things that actually need white. I'm... Mm, I'm tempted to drop the swamp for a planes. Ah, I don't do that to me. Okay. Get in there. Yep. Shield wall sentinel. I just need to hold off with as many things as I can actually play. And pulling out the other shield wall sentinel means our deck got a little bit thinner of non lands. So, ooh, that's that's not what I wanted to see. It's not at all what I wanted to see. Yep. I'm going to chaplain. And now our opponent sees that we have a problem. We have a pretty big problem. <laughs> Probably just going to lightning bolt, lightning strike. Although, honestly, if they don't have an instant or sorcery, then they're just going to die. Okay. Okay. Um... You know what? Screw it. Let's keep thinning the deck. I just want to see lands and we're not getting them. That's all of our defenders. We have every single defender here. I feel comfortable dipping the Tura Kenna root because as soon as we get a black mana, we can get it back with the missionary. I guess I could have dropped the drawbridge or something. Mm. Strike team. Got you. I will trade. I will, I will, I will trade. Yeah. Mmm, I hate that. Oh, I hate that a lot. We got a Drake down now. We have so many white cards and zero flames. I would kill for an Attaker Waste. At least you have a Shore upheld. I mean, that's all I can really hope for at this point. Oh, shit! Not there, Raph. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's gonna be a nuisance, because now they can just pump the Raph for their attack. Or just not attack. Oh, because Shorup can untap. Right, yeah. Let's swing in. And I I would be comfortable with... Mm. You know what? That's fine. Yeah. And now I've got a 2-3 blocker flyer held up. Okay. I just need white mana. I just... I'm gonna, after this game, I'm going to go back into the deck and shove in a plane somewhere. And then after that, I'm going to have a hard time finding islands, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't see any reason why they shouldn't just pump everything and swing with all but Wrath. I genuinely don't know why they're holding back. This is that situation where duels and card draw are huge. If we could get to them. We're one land away from getting our codex down. Oh, God. Oh, shit. 
That's actually terrifying. Not only was it not a planes, it was a double white pip. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. I know. Shame scoop. Closure's incredible. I, uh, I pride myself in being able to hold the emotions controlled. So, <laughs> certainly rage inducing. My god, I've been salty on stream before. That, that got me close. Let's... Mm. Three of these are islands. No. We're gonna dump the swamp. Because we've got two of these that are already swamps, and the, we don't even need the swamps to cast anything but repossession. Okay. We're trying it. This is gonna work. Can't search for basics. Exactly, because we don't have green. We can make this work. We can make this work. It's just be getting a bunch of pretty terrible starting hands. Whew. Okay. I all I want in this life is to have Raph and Tour Kenrude at the same time and be slinging spells like a madman. We'll get there. We'll get there someday, even if it's not today. We'll get there. I think we drafted a pretty solid deck too. I wish I had an additional a uh, defender payoff, but I think it's fine. I basically drafted the same deck as I would have with a Haughty Jin. We're keeping this. We're keeping this. This is being kept. We're taking this. I'm gonna turn one planes, get the drawbridge out, turn two island, hold up essence scatter, and the rest is just gonna be awkward at the end of it, but yeah, this is fine. Watch him drop the pixie illusionist and just swing over the clock bridge or drawbridge. Oh no! Burnaby's showing up so bad! Oh no! <laughs> okay, okay. Um, this is fine. Turn to island, holding up essence scatter for days. Oh shit. Oh, don't don't do the blight pile. It's okay, they'll have to spend two mana to swing. I always forget that it's either two mana. I always forget that it's two mana. I think keeping it's one. It means they can't build their board. Yes. Okay. So we've got this down. That's fine. Next up, contaminated aquifer, and then we're gonna get the other ones down. It's gonna be fine. Espionage. I can't do anything about this. They basically just wasted the last two mana. Yes, they did. And now we know they can't attack. Okay. Let's see, now we can planes, drawbridge, and hold up scatter. This is gonna be a long game. This is gonna be a slow game. I'm gonna allow this one. I'm gonna allow this one because it's not... You know what? No. We got another essence scatter in here. Fuck off of that shit. If they had a... Um, ooh, oh, shit, ball tapped. If they had a, um... Careful that it could be a 4-4. Yeah. That that was the other thing I was thinking. is like, it would be 4-4. You can tap their bulwark. That's... That's what I'm kind of doing here. Trying to hold something to tap. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay, so in response to them doing whatever, I can tap it down. Okay. Sure. Totally. You got it. Ooh. Tributary. And I think I wait another turn. Because... This way I can hold up Rona's Vortex. But also tap something if I need to. I'm not going to play the Shield Wall Sentinel yet. Sentinel? Sure. That's, uh, that's fine. And you know what? 
Actually, we'll see what they pull. We'll see what they pull. I might tuck the bulwark. Academy wall? That's what they went for? So they must have their thing already in hand then. I can tap whatever they activate. They're not activating? Okay. Then that's fine. I'm holding the I'm holding the Rona's Vortex for whatever thing they defender thing they have in hand. Actually, you know what? I should just do this now. Since clearly that academy wall is their end game. And they don't have any blue up. I'm just gonna get rid of it now. Okay. And now we can do the shield wall sentinel. Get the shield wall sentinel. Get the shield wall sentinel. Yep. Yep. Oh, we have a repossession. Excellent. Nothing has died yet. Sentinel. Take it. The other shield wall. Oh, we're going so greedy. Okay. I bet they have another blocking bulwark. No. Okay. Then shield wall sentinel for another sentinel, and I can hold up the three, tap something. There we go. Yeah, I can hold up the three to tap something or essence scatter. We got our second one. Okay, sure. End of turn. Tap the zero five. Seems good. Shield wall sentinel. Get down there, pal. I was- I had a mild heart attack thinking, oh shit, what if they essence scattered this one? Let's take that action, get the chaplain, there it is. And we're about to have six freaking flyers. But now, we can hold up a drawbridge, and impulse, and essence scatter. It's gonna take a while, but we've more or less got this. That's suspicious nice. I mean, I think we were just getting rid of all of their action. I wouldn't be surprised if they were flooded as shit. First win against somebody that basically had nothing. But hey, a win is a win. We take that all day. And we are riding on the edge of our freaking seat. One and two. Oh, God. I don't want this deck to go any less than three, but we're right, we're right there. We're right there. Okay, 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 okay. Why do you make me cry? This deck is, it just wants me to have you know, white and blue. I do. And obviously I did take it, but it's just, it's hurting my soul. I have 17 lands in here, right? Okay, that's fine. We're just gonna get the Clockwork Drawbridge down this turn. And that's, that's fine. Next turn we can hold up planes for Rona's Vortex. I wish we had a black soon. But we can start tapping things down. If they, ooh. Okay. We're, we're getting Wrath. We finally have Wrath. Give you failing cost three now, and here's oh damn it! Every time, every time I get wrath, every time I play a wrath, it just immediately kills. It makes me cry. Okay, this is, it is fine. I just, I never get to use him, and I love him so much. All right, that's rude. Okay. At least we got runic shot. Herborg repossessions for get Raph back. Yeah, true, 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 true. And we have yet to see our Micromancer ever. The protector. Rude, but also acceptable. Huh. So I 
could. Uh, Chaplain, yeah. Just get that out now. Oh yeah, then our Gibeon Phalanx is only one. Then we can take an attack from probably the Griffin Protector, because the Sky Rider is only ever going to be a 2-2. I'll take the attack from the Protector. I'll Runic Shot it. Fair Binding. That's acceptable. I We've got our birds. Hmm, never mind that. Got this. Excellent. And then we can just tap something and kill it. But I would like to scry. You can wait, yeah. Yeah, I can just... I can tap down the protector. I don't need to run his vortex with that thing immediately. Sure, Samite Herbless is fine. I'm gonna see if they want to play anything else and it's passing the combat. Okay. Now we can tap the protector. I feel pretty happy about that. Hey, Max Panic! How are you doing, my friend? Welcome in. Happy to see you here. How's your day going? Oh, we are doing a very hopeful um, little defenders slash control -y kind of draft here. Please tell me they're going to counter it. I kind of just want to see a counter here. Nope. All right. Um, I don't need either of these. I'm pretty good. I'm tired. Weight training got me on my ass. Oh, I, I feel that. that. That can get pretty intense. Happy that you're getting that going, though. Good for you. Let's tap down the Sky Rider. Swing in with the Phalanx. Because now we still got a basic Rona's Vortex held up. Fair binding. Alright. Tap down, or get the Phalanx. Sure. Like being the aggression. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The thing is, I don't want to send back the Sky Rider, because then they can just kick it to do damage again. But I think the two damage a turn is acceptable. Until I can actually find a way to tuck it. Then we just block the Herbalist with the Drawbridge. Unfortunately, they're going to gain a life and scry for each attack with the Herbalist. So we need to leave back a bird. I need to remember that. We need to leave back a single bird. Ooh, Geyser. I like that. Uh, let's... I'm just going to send two birds forward. I'm going to send no birds forward. Um... Yeah. I'll just send back the Sky Rider. I think that's okay. I do want to draw, get some life gain here. I know I just said, I don't want to send back the Sky Rider! Eh. They'll have one thing to attack with. Plus, now we can get down the Codex. And we've got... we got to tap it for two. And I will be putting this bird in front, even though they're probably just going to Sky Rider the thing in. Totally fine. Deal one to the bird. Yep, sure. If they just did that for a bird, I'm perfectly happy with that. Yeah, these prayer bindings is kind of what I was afraid of with this deck. And having an Urborg repossession in here. That's about it. We're gonna take a little bit more damage, but we're we're both basically at full life, so I mean it's just gonna take a little while. Sure. I'm gonna wait until I get some black mana for the vortex. That in front there. Sure. I need to get rid of this herbalist at some point. But I have no real way of doing that just yet. Monstrosity is another good target to toss up. I don't need to do that immediately. Touring Drake is excellent. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. This costs two, so we're down to six. Three, and then three. Okay. 
draw. There's a missionary. Wrap in the bin, but yeah. Okay. I'm just going to start pecking in. Tap down their monstrosity. We can block their Sky Rider with the Soaring Drake. Easy enough. Oh my god, they got three of these things? I mean, I'm not even mad, I'm just impressed. Like, holy shit. That's gotta be the majority of their removal, right? Oh! The Codex! Oh, that's funny. That's actually really funny. That's not what I was expecting them to hit. Well, now I know they have zero combat tricks. Oh, that's instant. Ooh, I gotta remember that. Okay. Save it for their turn. Exactly. Let's swing with a Soaring Drake. Because if they want to trade, sure. I'll I'll kill their Sky Rider with this thing. And that would save me a removal. What you gonna do, Chizmu? If I had a single enchantment removal in here, I would be very, very happy. Resolute reinforcements, you say? Ooh. That's fine. Custom combat. Sure, sure. Tap those down. Draw a card. Excellent. It's another land. Just what I wanted. If this could be the aquifer or the... Was it Salt Flats? Whatever it's called. I would be even more ecstatic. Uh, we're gonna... Tap down their reinforcement, I guess. Just because we can. Okay. Does that take up the shield then? No? Do they have another one? Turn. Over there, Scry. Yeah, absolutely. Not gonna not do that. Then let's send these up. Because three damage a turn beats two. I kind of... Should I even missionary right now? I can tap their tiny creatures. That's right, because these things aren't gonna tap. Or aren't gonna untap. Yep, yeah, I'm fine with that. a free three damage this turn which they've gained at least six from the oh shit well it's a good card how about we just tap you down actually I hit the wrong thing it doesn't matter Well, and have a new tucking target. Jesus Christ, they have gained so much life this game. I'll take the one. Of course. We've got a drawbridge in the bin. We've got our chaplain up there. Um... Shield wall, I guess. Search. Look, we found our other shield wall. Okay, okay. Um, I have no desire to send this back to their hand, and I have no way of killing it just yet without Vortex. I think I'm just going to be tapping it down and maybe send up the Molten Monstrosity. I'm gonna hold back the Soaring Drake, send in the bird. Tap down their life linker. Attacks. Monstrosity. I have to do this now. 
I mean, I don't have to, but I'm gonna. Sure. Oh, another herbalist, yeah. God damn. Well, any enchantment removal in the world would have been nice. Take another shield wall. Three, four, five, six. I mean... I, I've just got to hold everything back at this point. Just a war of attrition until one of us gets something useful. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ugh, oops. I passed through. Oh, no. I could kill the monstrosity if I really wanted to. I'm just going to oops here. You can at least block the monstrosity. I mean, it's trample. Yeah, because I've got no other benefit for these one threes. I might as well block three damage. Kill it. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I'm betting they have a combat trick. Like, one, two. Or they've got cut down, stall for time, and three of those. Maybe they're relying on that for removal. Sure. Let's send it through. See what happens. Step down the Sky Rider. Why not? Yep, yep. That's pretty much exactly what I thought was going to happen. Impulse is helpful. Sure, I'll take the Essence Scatter after I've already used my return spells. Are these at the bottom? I'm actually going to decline this search. Because it just means I would shuffle, and then those two lands would go back into the rest of everything. And I do not need those lands. I need those lands... I, I need to not have those lands much more than I need to have that second essence scatter. I'll put it that way. Now we tap that angel. And they're just going to be hitting for two for a while. Sure. Have I own Archangel? It's in here somewhere. It's in here somewhere. I can keep taking two a turn for a little while. I need to get this missionary out though, and I part of me really wants to save it for like doing Black Source and the Angel. Yeah, either or both of those things would be perfect. There's a red source, I guess. the exact situation I was in last draft. Hold on. Hold on. Tap it down. Okay. Taken two. It's fun. Micromancer. Okay. What can we get? Shore up or Urborg? I mean... What do we have in the bin? Some good stuff, actually. I mean, I know I can cast the Shore up. Urborg would still be in there, and I have a Phyrexian Missionary. I'm going to take the Shore up. Okay. Turn. Sleeper. Immediately I'm going to do that. I can sacrifice a shield wall sentinel and be pretty happy. Like, I don't, I don't mind that thing. Any other creatures would make me very, very sad though. <laughs> Son of a bitch! I think I just need to get this Phyrexian Missionary. Look! Look how low we are! I'm just gonna get the Missionary out. I, I have to at this point. I could swing the Necromancer in. 
and it would trade with their sleeper or I could shore up and I think that would kind of just be begging to get the shore up but I got I got to be on the aggression I got to be aggro Image, yeah it's fine Tap down their angel. I think I've lost. I think I've already lost at this point. I don't know what they're saving stuff up for. There you are. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Take care of their Skyrider. Tap down their sleeper. Send those in. I can untap with shore up if I need to. I can gain a little bit of life. And I am very happy to let them attack with the angel and trade angel to angel. That's going away. Oh shit. Uh nothing's gonna live. And they're going to kick two things to survive. Five damage. Adding a single toughness to anything wouldn't let anything live. Yeah, we This has been the most infuriating draft. We've got five cards left, that's what they were holding up, yeah. That, ooh. Okay. Only have the one black source. Go in here, smack that herbalist. I mean, we're dead because we have four cards left in our deck. But I mean, at least we tried. What can I missionary for? Probably Wrath, I guess. The Wrath, yeah. Being able to pump so much all the time. That's rough. They have all of the life gain in this deck. Every single bit of it. And there's you. You out. Get Raph. Cast Raph. Activate Raph. Swing in with the Angel. They get to the double block. Or just take it. Shore up. Yeah, if they if they block. I mean, that's that's the plan. But now. We have this situation, which is certainly threatening, but I don't think we can kill him in three turns. Most on Kavu, sure. Six, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we can activate it three times and still have Shore up available. I mean, Tura is not going to do anything at this point. Block how you will. I have extra six damage threatening. <laughs> and so much life. Sure. Do that. I, I'm not going to bother doing the math. I could do the math and see how I actually, if I could kill them in the next couple of turns, and pump, and you save, can save the creature. I mean, yeah, that's the plan. I've got two more pumps lined up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This only costs 5. I've got plenty of white. I'm going to pump two more times and still have Shore upheld. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. kill the Angel of Wrath. Pump there. 
And... Do I... So it's three, four, five, six, seven. It's gonna die. Pump and shore up. It would still die. But at least this way, I can kill their Archangel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Go for it. Well, at least now my life isn't a problem. It's still just my library. But now I actually cannot kill them anymore. Outrider? Sure. Don't meet you for it. Means nothing to me anymore. I, I'm already dead. Like, I've got two cards left in my library. And there's the Essence Scatter. Swing it with the Archangel. That's what I got. Yeah, no, this... Unfortunately, this game went too long. They had so much life gain. They had so much life gain. Like, it's insane how many freaking ticks of life that they got. I've played my entire, entire library. Oh, hit me. They had four of these Prayer of Bindings. How in God's name did they get four Prayer of Bindings? Sure. I mean... It, yeah. It's, it's just what's it they know I mean it's hard not to know if I'm gonna die though I want to die by my own deck oh shit it has reach ah <laughs> eh, whatever good game oh yeah Fuck, dude. This deck did not deserve a 1 in 3. But getting screwed... Getting terrible hands in the first two games. And then getting screwed on one of our mana. And then fighting a deck that had four prayer of bindings and all of the life gain in the world. It's understandable. 